it is bloody cold out here today and unfortunately not much better in there. So I don't know how long we're gonna last today on Wegg's Garage. <laughs> Last week we got our seats torn down and the frames are off getting sandblasted right now. So we're gonna have to find some other stuff to work on. And obviously we got a lot of little odds and ends to uh, kind of finish up here on the interior. Today we're gonna start by taking a look at this dash center support area and kind of finishing up some of the switches and knobs and things in there. All right, so this is the area in question here. Uh, right now, it's got some switches that we had for our overdrive, temporary switch for the overdrive, and a switch for the electric fan, which will probably get relocated to another piece that's missing, which is this plate right here, which uh, either is a blank plate or it has a hole for a radio. Now, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do for a radio, but I don't think we're going to put like unless we find a really cool vintage radio to put in there, we're not gonna put like a normal radio in. We might figure out something else for audio later. I don't know, it's 2020, you know, audio is pretty easy. Uh, so basically we don't have this plate. Uh, they do sell kind of a reproduction, but luckily we have some access to some uh, metalworking tools. So dad's actually gonna be making one that mimics the original dimensions. Uh, we're gonna put that together, put that in there, and then uh, I'm gonna work on kind of cleaning up the uh, switches and getting the knobs for the heater and heater fan and all that stuff figured out. But actually the first thing I do before we get to all that is I'm going to work on putting in this little uh, guy right here, which is the flap for the air Inlet. I guess this counts as air conditioning. So there's a gasket here, uh, three screws, and then there's a little uh, kind of metal rod that goes inside the cockpit that allows you to open and close this from inside the car. Uh, so I'm gonna get all that hooked up and kind of go from there. more of an exploratory mission, although this door is installed now, technically. We got the three screws on the hinge in the back. Um, I'm pretty sure this gasket needs to have some kind of uh, adhesive. I'm sure the, the old workshop manual says they're supposed to use like sea elastic or some crap that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but I know you need some kind of adhesive on there. It's probably the same kind of stuff you need for the trunk gasket, which is still need to buy some of that to do that job too. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna leave this loose. Uh, I'm also not 100% sure. It's kind of tough to get the actual rod up in there. And then once I got the other end of the control rod connected to the lever in the cockpit, uh, it didn't want to stay in. So I don't know if I'm missing some kind of clip or something that holds the controller into this bracket? I don't know, more research is required.
Well, after a lot of trials, we got the center support done. I made this out of 50 thousandths mild steel, and basically, between pictures that Mark had of finished cars with this in, and a little bit of to scale guessing, you might say, we made it up. And this is 50 thousandths. It'll more, it's more than thick enough to do the job. But I can tell you one thing, to get these bends, you've got to have a break, and you will put it to the test bending stuff this thick. But what it does is it fits here, underneath the dash, and gets centered up on the transmission hump support. And there's two bolts, one here and one here, that go onto this support. And then there's a couple more bolts that actually go into your dashboard. And in the future, if we want to, we can do a cutout here and put a radio in there. But this is one of the pieces we didn't have. And to get one from a parts place, a little expensive, but with about an hour and a half's work, you can make one of these. But that's what we came up with, and it's probably overbuilt, but that's okay. Alright, so getting into a little of what I was working on here, I put all of the controls, basically all the heater controls are located down here. Uh, in the center is the fan, electric fan switch. Uh, I've just got that mounted in there, it's not wired up yet. Um, right here is the cable for the actual heater control valve. And then over here you have the selector between defrost and heat. And that just runs this little door down here on the bottom. Uh, that works fine, I guess, but uh, just looking at it here, this one was came with the car, and I'm guessing maybe it was replaced at some time. It's pretty ugly, uh, and it definitely sticks out like a sore thumb compared to the original style knobs that we have over here. And unfortunately, this one doesn't have the little pin that allows you to remove the knob. So I think we're going to probably want to buy a new cable for that because it's pretty, pretty ugly. doesn't match. Uh, another thing to note is that I think there's supposed to be some kind of bezel, bezel, bez, I don't know, call it whatever you want, behind each of these knobs. And uh, those didn't come with them, so we'll have to get some of those too. Uh, and then finally, on the other end of the heater control knob, the cable comes in here. Uh, I wasn't actually 100% sure where this cable is supposed to run. Uh, there are no extra holes in the firewall here. My best guess is it runs out right there. And we currently had the choke cable also running through there. So it, it's possible that both of those come out there. Uh, or the choke cable maybe needs to move somewhere else. I'm not sure because there really aren't any other holes But I do know that this one has to be here because it is not any too long uh, In fact, it's just barely long enough to make it to our heater control valve over here I think possibly if we rotate the valve slightly To the side it might fit a little bit better, but that is a very tight fit so Kind of interesting there. All right, well, that's all we got for today. We're gonna go inside and have a beer where it's warm. Uh, we didn't get like a lot done today, but we did kind of figure out how few things go together, which is uh, which is also important. So uh, 
Next time we'll probably finish that up. Hopefully we'll have our seats back. We'll get started putting those together and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe and do all that great stuff. We'll see you next time. Later.